You're back. Interesting. Excuse me a moment. You've heard, I suppose, that there's been an adjustment. It's a one door closes, another opens sort of thing. Yes, the story's been told, but the truth of that story isn't fixed. Far from it. You see, a story can change a great deal when told from a... Uh, different perspective. A chance to turn back the clock, walk in different shoes, make fresh choices. Perhaps take a few risks this time. Raise a little hell. Think we got enough? If we run out, we can always call for backup. So, uh, look. I've never been down there before. Down? The water. Diving. Well, maybe you could show me how the pros do it. Dude, of course. Yeah? I'm like practically a dive master, man. But I gotta tell you, I'm tough. No special treatment. You gotta do exactly what I say. So I gotta do what you tell yep. me? Yep. So you're like my boss? Kinda, yeah. You gonna pay me? <laughs> Whoa, careful. That dive cam is like super expensive. Little bro, be cool. What? Julia and Conrad are, you know, how do I say it? Super fucking loaded? So? So don't sweat the little stuff, man. It's not cool. Don't make me regret letting you tag along. Dude, you know I'm not like the best around new people. Whatever. But shut up. Brad, you're not on this trip because you're my bro. I mean, you are my brother, but I mean, like, we're buddies, you know? Um, kinda. I'm just out here to fucking hang, cool out, and kick it. What the fuck are you talking about? Let's just kick it and be legends, man. Mm -hmm. All right, amigo. Calvary's almost here. Cool. 
Sorry I'm a little snappy. I'm just... We knew medical school would be stressful, you know? Total shocker. And man, the long distance thing, Julia, it's been rough. Yeah, I got you. It must be tough. No worries, man. Huh? <laughs> yep. Right on cue. What? Conrad doesn't think we have enough beer. Ah, I guess I keep these in an undisclosed location. Yeah. Hey, so uh, can I get your input on something? Yeah, what? Just uh, kind of a big thing I'm trying to make a decision about. About finishing med school? No, but it's just kind of a big life choice, you know? How to know what's the right thing to do. Go with your gut. If it's right, you'll know. Connie, this is Alex. Hey, what's up, man? It's Conrad. <laughs> Watch it, sis. Lady killer, right here. <laughs> Good to finally meet you, Conrad. This is Brad, by the way, my little bro. Hey. Bradley! <laughs> feel like I already know you. I've heard so much about you. Yeah, uh, likewise. Miss me? Wanna crack the cold one with Every second. <laughs> uh, that's a lot of seconds, cowboy. I mean, I would have gone with minutes. Way less needy. <laughs> so, first dive, you and me? I... If you can keep up this time. Yeah, of course. The whole reason we're out here is to spend time together. Well, I think it'll be perfect. Where's the old crust bucket skipper anyhow? I'd invite you to make yourselves at home, but, uh... So is everybody on board and ready to go? It, get it all out. Uh, yeah. You uh, want to go lie down? Yeah. You know, maybe I should. Yeah. Oh boy. Let's see those hot picks. What about over here? That's pretty far out of the way. I'm just thinking about backup targets in case we don't find anything on the dive cam. Listen, to be honest, I've never heard of this wreck you're looking for. Usually these things are crawling with divers. Yeah. <laughs> well, hot diggity dong. Look at this. Alex! Come here! I think we got something. Okay, look, you're the client. I'm just saying we don't have unlimited daylight. I'm gonna go help Conrad and Julia with the camera. What you got? Feast your eyes on this. Brad's calculations were right on the money. Always bet on Brad. Yeah, that kid's a whiz. We should thank him. Bliss, we found a plane. Yeah? Yeah, it looks like World War II. We are ready to dive. Uh, technically, we should call this in to port authorities as an unreported wreck? Well, technically. Are you sure you don't want to do this the right way? Wait, are you saying we shouldn't dive?
the right way. Come on, what is this, kindergarten? I had to bring it up. If we just go down and take a look, who's gonna know? Fine, as long as you're quick. And don't touch anything. I just can't wait to be the first one down there. Can you imagine, untouched? We should be ready to get you guys in the water in a few. I'll set up the tanks. The boys will do the final checks. Take a look at the camera, see if you can find anything useful. Right out. Hey, maybe you should check on your bro. Hey, sis. Mm-hmm. I think this might be bogus. Please do not fondle machinery you are not equipped to understand. You might want to just let it do its thing. Oh, Captain, my Captain. You know, we have rules out here for a reason. You guys got to respect that. Hey, I like it when you're strict. And sometimes I just want to be kept in line, you know what I'm saying? I don't mind a little submission now and then. Is there no way for you to turn that off? Turn what off? That thing where you have to hit on me like every two seconds. So is it working? Do you have brain damage? Am I upstairs brain or am I downstairs brain? Ugh. These rules are all pretty basic stuff. How much experience do you have with these kind of dives? Oh, I got experience in all the right places, if you catch me. Yeah, I caught it, and I tossed it back. And where might that experience lie? <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know? Huh? For all you know, this could be a war grave. Disturbing it would be illegal and immoral. Why am I even talking to you about this dive? Clearly, you have other things on your mind. Oh, don't be fooled. All I'm thinking about is getting wet. Okay. Because, you know, when I get that dive suit on, it's gonna get hot in there, sweaty. You know, I think you need to work on your material. Go take a stroll, come up with some better jokes. Well, hello. How you feeling? Shouldn't have had that beer. No sweat, Braddy Shack. Top, should you care to join? <laughs> yeah, I'll be up as soon as I... <clears throat> Stop puke heaving. Wow, I can't unhear that term. Hey, Connie, how's it going? Oh, work, work, work. I thought we came on this trip for relaxing to the maxim. You've never worked a day in your life. Excuse me, <laughs> what I do is hard work. And hardly working. Yeah, you should see how these rebreathers work if you're planning on diving tomorrow. Blah, 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 whatever. Gotta say, not too happy with our captain at the moment. 
So, related, I found Fliss's diving license. Seal's like basically coming off and there are tons of spelling mistakes and shit. Explains why she's acting so weird. Wonder what else she's hiding. Yeah. At least we can use it as a bargaining tool if she pulls any more goody two-shoe bullshit on us. But my dad's lawyers would love to hear all about it. Everything's going all right, so, you know, don't worry about it. Fliss knows what she's doing. Says the guy who just wants to get in her pants. All right, I'm gonna get these rebreathers set up and then we'll go through the final steps together. Great. I'm gonna kick back and uh, enjoy the sights for a little while. And by enjoy the sights, I mean I'm gonna ogle our captain like a grade-A creep. Yeah, I got it. Gross. Hey, at least I'm honest. Still gross. Almost done checking these out. Fuck yeah. Slam dunk. Hey guys, tanks are ready. Tanks a lot. Okay, so this is the rebreather. Way cooler than a regular scuba setup. It takes all that CO2 that you'd normally just exhale into the water, and instead, it gets totally reused. Then it reduces decompression time on your way up. State of the art. Okay, O2 check done. Whoa, 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 Eager Beaver, you gotta check your O2 first. Thanks for sending me straight. Okay, you little clown fishes. I'm gonna go see what Fliss is up to. You behave, Connie. Looking for a first mate, Captain? You need look no further. <laughs> Very funny. I just never knew that it was possible to feel such a deep connection with someone. Like right off the bat. Synergy. You know? What is it with those guys? They've got a whole ocean waiting for them and they're still on deck. I'll shoot them overboard. Hey! What's the hold up? Let's get diving. So tight. She acts like we're going to ransack the plane. Hey, a souvenir would be cool. It's not like one tiny little thing would hurt anybody. I won't tell. <laughs> not like they get scans on death. There. That's gotta be it. Whoa. That is like way bigger than. Damn. It's pretty intact too. Fucking remarkable find. Let's swim around a little and find a way in. The turret! We can get in through there. Can I just take a second to say, holy shit, Alex, we did it. I mean, can you believe... Oh.
Julia, leave it. You'd have to take your gear off to get in there. Not worth it. That pipe's pretty tight. What if you get stuck without your rebreather? Don't be such a gonad. I'll be fine. Gonad? Seriously? Am I dead? What's happening? Live a little, Edgelord. something stupid down here that's it one chance you get that I know what I'm doing I don't need a lifeguard this says it was a rescue plane launch us base on their way to help out a ship something. Wow. What the hell happened here? The Lullabings, they knew they were goners. You hear that? Let's check it out. Wanna go first? <laughs> ah, cheap piece of shit. Co-pilot. Gotta be. Plane crash not high on my list of ways to perish. Easy now. This stuff's been down here a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Howdy, Captain. You fit a pint with your second in command? You are not my second in command. Third in command. No. Fresh and eager cabin boy. <laughs> Still a no. Your well paying, dashingly handsome, seafaring client is requesting the pleasure of your company over a frosty amber liquid. Sure. Why not?
Pretty nice ride you got here. Where'd you get the cash? You know it's not polite to ask a lady about her money. Fair enough. I was just thinking about buying a boat myself, and I thought maybe you'd like to point me in the right direction. It would be my singular pleasure to help you part with your money. Uh, you know what? I better spend some time keeping the Duke of Milan ship shape. Aye, aye. Weather looks clear. Mm. I have to keep an eye on those clouds. Uh oh, it's getting mighty crowded out here. Hey there, how's it hanging? You look like you're taking full advantage of your relaxation time. I'm a man of many talents. So are you beached like a whale? Hey, I just thought, why spend all my time down in the dark when I already like what I see up top? I have to keep track of the dive, but I'd be happy to continue this conversation later when I can give you my full attention. In private? Private? Just, just chatting it up, you and I, in the old conversational intercourse. <laughs> Duke to Alex. Duke to Julia. How's it going? Knocked out by cold frosty. Man, I feel like such a wimp. Hey, it's your vacation. You're allowed to overdo it. I am officially starting a temperance club. Party of one. Lifetime membership. Hope the lovebirds are having the time of their lives down there. know about this wreck? Just rumors. I got tired of the speculation and wanted to see if there was actually anything there. So, how did you figure it out? Everyone was just looking at where the plane was headed. But I asked myself, where was the plane from? You know, where was that airbase? So I made some guesses based on that hypothetical return flight, and I guess I guessed good. You can actually use all those old World War II stories to help them find the sites? Yeah. You know, when they started wreck diving, I realized I could be a pretty good resource. I knew a lot about where, where planes would go, shipping routes. You make a lot of connections. Alex and Julia have done a lot of dives, but I gotta say, finding this plane takes the cake. 
Huh. Gotta get back up top. Check you later. Well, hello there, Captain. Can I do something for you? I can think of a few things. Oh, do... What's that about? That is not the Coast Guard. So we're not under arrest. How should we handle this? We? Anything. I'm the captain, so you be quiet and let me handle it. You got that? This man, it's not. What do you think? Like, uh, ten bucks cover it? Oh, whoops, my bad. Let's make. Well, shoot, you, you think it's more like 30? I can do 30. All right, I have a hard bargain, but I'm with you. Here, let's just throw in the whole. Let's go. Ow! I guess they didn't need the money. <laughs> Funnier than watching you try to buy your way out of that situation is seeing your money go to waste. Claudia, worth a penny. You're a piece of work, Conrad. I'm not all work, I'm a little play, too. Are you trying to flirt with me? Working? I don't even know what it is. Well, when you think of something, I'll just be over here taking in the view, flirting up a storm, hash wink. Okay, I think back up. And I was getting used to it just being you and me. We need to light the grill. Oh, oh, pick me, pick me. You can call me El Capitan. You may light the grill, but I will never call you that. <laughs> oh, fuck! <sighs> Son of a bitch. Damn, Fliss, I I'm sorry. Damn it! This is my fault. My boat, my fault. Hey, what the hell is going on? Uh, hey, JJ, don't worry about it. A little, uh, mishap with the... Jesus, looked like the whole boat was lit up. So why are you paying the ocean? A fishing boat came by and got damaged on the dive line. Oh, that happened. Yeah. They were being a little surly about it, so Conrad made it rain and they... What I want to know is, what'd you guys find? Well, we found the plane, and it is huge. Full of cool stuff. Oh my god, you guys, can you all just shut up for like one second? <laughs> Holy sh. Dude, bro, congrats. Nicely done. Come on, let's celebrate. You're getting to know these intrepid adventurers then. Alex and his little brother Brad, trying to swim with the big fish, both seem out of their depth. And Julia, the love of Alex's life, and he the love of hers. 
What about Conrad? A bold fellow, you might say. Maybe you'd say arrogant. And then there's Captain Fliss. Strong, forthright, stubborn. Do I detect a spark between her and Conrad? Let me reassure you. You help them to make some decisions they'll value later on. I think they may regret. So, we're like 10 seconds out of the jaws of certain death. Well, certain, I mean, that's relative. And this meat, Ball? this meatball pulls a ring out of God knows where. Yeah, the ring. A lady never tells. Oh, neat. This lady was impressed. <laughs> well played there, man, no? Wasn't Conrad gonna years after he helped Fliss? Maybe he decided, hey, I'll drink some. And then he, and since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. And he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like you've had some experience with this kind of phenomenon. Yeah, I've been studying it for years. I'll go look for him. How does it feel to soon be known as the Mrs. Julia Smith? Honestly, sure how it would feel. Man overboard! What? What? Alex, we went over the edge. It oh god, it's horrible. Oh, the humanity! What the fuck? <laughs> Man, you guys should see your faces. That is not a cool thing to do. Yeah. Sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt. Oh, yeah, the beers. I was just getting them now. Like a rug so you can walk all over me. Where did everyone go? There was much celebration to be had. All right, now that everybody's here, let's take a look at the navigator's pad we found. Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. Hey. Congratulations again, dude, seriously. I'm really happy for you guys. Can't believe I actually did it. How long have you been keeping this a secret from your closest family member slash best friend slash trusted confidant slash unofficial life coach and financial advisor? Been thinking about it for months, actually. Sounds kind of dumb now, but I didn't know if I was rushing things. I have to hand it to you. Bopping the question on the bottom of the ocean pretty romantic. Never the Lynn type. I'm proud of you, bro. I couldn't have done it without such a good bro, bro. Bro. Wait, what do you mean? You told me to follow my heart. I'm not that sappy. And two, I was talking about med school. Still, we're over the top, bro. So, we going again tomorrow? Sign me up. Can't wait to see this sucker for myself. Uh, I'm gonna go find Julia. Bradder for Brayson. You got a girlfriend? Uh, yeah, I do. I, well, I mean, I, I did. Uh, broke up with her, though. Just too much to handle. Women, right? <laughs> hmm. They exist. You're correct. They definitely, especially the one you just broke up, for sure. What about you? Are you, uh, with anybody? Um, what happened to you? That's not really your business, Brad. Right here. Hey, well there, sailor. Um, excuse me? Careful. If you did decompress too fast, then you should go easy on the beer. Uh, Alex, I'm fine. I think if I go, I would know by now. Not always. Sometimes the bends can be super delayed. It could be hours or a day or two. The bends? Yeah, it's uh, when you come up from a dive too fast. Oh, 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 yeah, uh, uh, decompression sickness. <laughs> Nerd. 
Little nitrogen bubbles like that's strange. Hurts like a bitch. It's really serious. Divers get sick and die from decompression sickness every year. And that is why the good Dr. Conrad says drink them if you got them, because I ain't, or you're gonna want a little something to ease the pain. Julia, I'm telling you not to drink any alcohol right now. Oh, come on. Tell you? Take orders from this guy? Just drink a beer. Beer o'clock. All right, everyone. Check it out. Manchurian gold. Who wants some sunken treasure? So what do you think, Captain? Coordinates? Those are all right. Maybe the plane's destination? You think we could get there by all? It takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. Ah. Do you find anything else? We found a flight plan that indicated the plane was on some kind of rescue mission from a nearby U.S. base. Reckless. All the... Excuse me? I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, come on. We've been through this already. I'm not about the law. No, hey. They were respectful. No, you did whatever you wanted. Whatever you took, it was too much. Oh, come on. No one knows we've even been down there. And I don't think ghosts can talk. You Americans are all the same, huh? No respect for anyone else's traditions. You should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. It's luck. You think you can scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. I never thought about it like that. You never think about much of anything. Well, maybe I never heard about such cool stories. They're not cool ghost stories. Not like for fun. Peeps waters and you have to respect their resting place. Great. Brad, you got a fun ghost story, right? Yeah, I heard a story. It happened right around here, too. Let's hear it. We could all use a good show. Let's hear it. I bet you can spin a goodie. It's kind of messed up, actually. Scare away a little. Oh. OK, here goes. This story is true. It had happened right near here, in an old lighthouse. Classic setup. Wait, true story? Where'd you hear this? Ah, well. Down by the dockside, I found an ancient old man, skin like a leather book, eye patch, wooden leg, the whole nine yards. And for a dollar, he told me his secrets. Seems legit. The lighthouse stood atop an atoll, isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night, a sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. He hurries to her aid, and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time. Smooth. Shh. The woman answers, I live here, in the lighthouse. My parents are upstairs right now. Twist. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says, that isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical, and his sister parents are upstairs. So they go to the top of the lighthouse, and there, Splay down on the floor is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an axe. Always an axe. I mean, do people even use axes anymore? I'm just reporting the facts, cliches and all. Chopped up into little tiny giblets with an axe. So gross. Okay, so who did it? So, the woman, uh, he's still hysterical, says her husband did it. And he's still here, in the closet. Ha, huh, the husband, eh? <laughs> so is this a warning to all future brides? Hey, no backseas. You're locked in. So the lighthouse keeper creeps over to the closet, opens the door, and sure enough, there's a man inside. But he's cut his own throat, horrified. He looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark. Closer, closer. And he sees it's his own face. Eyes bulge out and screams. <laughs> yeah, so gross. Hey, well, super twist. Nice. <laughs> nice one, Squire. You have me going. Pretty cool. Heavy on the cheese there, corn dog. Okay. You all had your fun? 
We should all turn in. There's some weather heading our way. Uh-uh. No, no, no. No, because according to standard vessel regulation, we're all required. One more beer before hitting the hay. What regulations are these? Uh, it's standard issue regulatory institutional protocol subdivision 1099. Uh-huh. <laughs> Where'd you read that? The internet. Oh, so you found a website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance. I'm just following orders, ma'am. <laughs> I'm into this website. <laughs> and four good buddy. And I'm out.